Hi there, welcome back to Save a Crypto. My name is Save with Crypto. And this morning I put out a couple of YouTube shorts just uh, alerting people both on Twitter and also my Telegram group. Um, I do suggest you join the Telegram group, savewithcrypto.org slash TG. It's free to join and I do do little announcements and things when I see something interesting in the charts. Now, the thing is, this is Stonksy, this indicator here with the uh, red and green backgrounds. Actually, it's not red. I coloured it purple because I got bored of looking at red. That's the indicator that we're playing with today. Uh, there are some moving averages there, which I will just turn off for the moment. Generally, when you see these green backgrounds on, in particular, the 15 minute and the one hour time frame, one hour time frame being the best, right? But 15 minute is second best. And when you see that going green or red, it's normally a pretty good sign that, you know, there's going to be a movement up or down. And you can see recently, you know, this has been pretty amazing. This one here didn't particularly work out, but, you know, any loss would have been minimal and would have been made up by the gain in the next green one. These black ones are like no trade zones. Look at this one here. That would have been great for a short, wouldn't it? Anyway. Let's go back to where we are, because this has been green since Friday lunchtime. Um, and I've done some good trades from Friday until today, uh, Sunday. Uh, trades have been really good. I actually managed to pretty much double my money. However, that's not quite true because the trade is still open, or at least some of it's still open. So we've had this big patch of green. Now, just recently this morning, it did go red, okay, at about 8.30 this morning. It's only 9.50 now, so it's only been like that for an hour or so. And I have kind of been expecting the price to come down. What I did do with my bigger trade here uh, was I closed half of it there. You can see that I've already taken $345 profit. It's currently $359 in profit. That one's long. I'm going to leave that because the entry is 61.932, which is, you know, quite a long way away. And I went into this short here at 62.825. Okay, that's currently like 2% in profit, which is only like $4. But nevertheless, um, that's what I'm looking at at the moment. Now, the thing is, is when I put on my moving averages that I love so much, these are, let me just expand that. These are these lines here. Cyan is a 9 EMA. The yellow is a 21 EMA. And there's also a 55 EMA, which is green. If you want to know how to set those up, look at the video that's linked at the very end of this video. It's a free indicator, so it's, uh, you know, it's worth having. I've also added an extra one, the red one there, which is a 5 EMA. Uh, I just like that just to get a, get an idea of the way price is going on a very, very small time frame. Now, when Stonksy went red here, I was thinking, well, I'm not sure about that really, because, you know, because even though this yellow and green cross there, which is normally a bearish sign, um, you know, it did look like they were starting to come together again. And I thought, well, maybe Stonksy's wrong. And at the moment, um, no, it's right so far. Having said that, the actual price you would have entered would have been down here. Okay, so it's where that candle body on the green becomes that candle body on the red. Okay, so that would have been 62732. So actually, at this moment in time, you wouldn't actually be in profit. Uh, I am because I kind of missed it, really. And, uh, and then I kind of went into the trade more up here. So what we want to see, really, is a massive great dump. Now, the reason that might not happen is because if you look at the one hour time frame, which is the most reliable one for Stonksy, it's still well green and it has been since Friday evening at about 6 p.m. These are UK times, by the way. So let's wait a bit and see what happens. I'm actually wondering if maybe this like red section here might be quite short lived or are we going to do a Bart Simpson and sort of. There's a top of Bart's head and then come down like that. That is a strong possibility and that is the sort of thing that Bitcoin tends to do these days. Now, one thing that makes me think that might not happen is the fact that the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the CME group, 
closed at 63.280 on Friday night. Now, what we've seen so far in 2024 is that with, I think, one exception, possibly two, I can't remember, but the price has always come back to this price um, during the following week or thereabouts. The longest one was about three weeks, but generally the price has come back to there. So 63.280 is actually quite a bit above where we are now. That's like sort of here. And the thing is, it's only Sunday morning, so maybe we will get a dump like that, a V-shaped correction, and then go back up next week. It wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, we'll keep watching the indicator for a bit and see what happens. I think I can remove Bart's head, can't I? This is the 15-minute time frame again now. This has been like this for two hours now, and uh, it doesn't look good, does it? It looks like it's going to go down. Uh, let's just check out the uh, moving averages. Yeah, you see, they cross bearish there at 3.15 this morning, and it's been coming down ever since. While that yellow is below the green, I think it's in a, a downtrend. So I'm tempted to add to that position, you know. So it's currently 2% in profit. Uh, this is going to make things worse, though, because obviously it's going to mess up my entry a little bit. But let's go short just above where we are now 62772 say 62772 right that's going to be quite big okay a little bit scary okay so that's my order there which will kind of like double the size of this trade here so it will make it like as if i'm trading with leverage about ten thousand dollars now these emas i do use them on the five minute sometimes, which by the way, Stonksy doesn't really seem to obey very well. Okay, so uh, five, see five minute, I would say, yeah, definitely. You know, we've been bearish since eight o'clock this morning. And yeah, 15 minute bearish, 30 minute. 30 minute isn't bearish yet. But if that yellow meets the green there, then I will be very bearish. Okay, so just while I was editing that last part of the video, the order did fail, in fact. So average price of entry is 62798. Currently 1.65% in profit is just $7. So yeah, there's that one there. The long is still open, which is $343 in profit. And I've got a realized profit there of 345 okay so not doing too bad so what we want to see is the price to come down far enough to make my short profitable but not too far to uh, make my long unprofitable if you're wondering why i'm not closing the long there it's because i've got a good entry and if the price doesn't come down that far and it goes back up i'll be back in profit but I will have that really good entry, so I'll have plenty of like wiggle room for situations just like this, because the price doesn't just go up and up and up and up. It goes in waves. I think we know that by now, don't we? Now, from my very limited experience with Stonksy, I think that the only thing that's going to make me want to close my long position is if I see on the 30 minute time frame, if I see that go red, then I might start to pay attention and I'll consider closing it. But really, I'm looking for the one hour to go red. At that point, I'll probably consider it to be somewhere like that there, where it went down a lot, or that one there, where it went down quite a lot. The other thing that seems to be worth looking at is this oscillator on the bottom. I think this is like a momentum oscillator. It seems to me that when that line changes from red to pink, it's probably worth paying attention to it, even if I don't think that is the bottom. Um, there's not any good examples there, but like say this one here, this is similar, isn't it? Because it's been green, it's gone red, and that oscillator is right down real low. Now, when it, when it went pink again, not exactly the bottom, but it would have done. In fact, that would have been better than the actual exit that Stonksy suggested. 
This one here would have been a sort of get out at break even. That would have been fine. And these ones here, say that bottom there coincided with going from red to pink. Bottom there was just when it was in red, but by the time it started going pink again, we did have another bottom there, although it wasn't the lowest bottom. This one here, when it went from red to pink, yeah, that was a low there. Okay, so I think that's worth looking out for, isn't it? Because I will want to get out of that short trade at some point, probably today, because of that CME gap, which is now about $500 north of where we are now. Okay, so there's a lot to look at today. Probably not going to be the most relaxing Sunday ever, but I hope you do have a nice relaxing Sunday. Let me know what you're doing in the comments down below. Any questions, leave them down there as well, or just use the comments to say hello. If you saw my video earlier on, you'll see that I've now got over a million views on my videos, and that is mostly thanks to my subscribers. So make sure that you are a subscriber and you've got the notifications set on all. Do like the video, of course, because that all helps as well. And above all, tell your friends.